you guys we're getting ready to start filming our get the m Reezy look diy so as i already as you guys can see what i already did i took my fabric of my choice um and i found this really nice green fabric from my local sewing store if you're in the massachusetts area you can go to sophisticated fabrics um they're located in dorchester they have some in somerville all over massachusetts so I bought a yard and a half of this fabric and this fabric only cost me $1.99 a yard um, so which was really nice so as you guys can see I have my fabric folded on the right side as you guys can see and I have my skirt that I'm going to use as a pattern so we're going to be making a mini length skirt with a matching tube top to go with it so this is the skirt I got this skirt from forever 20 not forever 21 Charlotte Rose and it just fits really nice it hits me right above above um, underneath the knee excuse me so I folded my fabric in half so now what I'm going to do as always in my other videos I'm going to sew I'm going to cut the fabric all the way around leaving a half inch to an inch um, seam allowance space. If it's your first time sewing, leave an inch. If you are more experienced with sewing, do a half inch. I am done cutting out the pattern for my skirt. As you guys can see, I left between two and a half to three inches on the top right here because we are going to be folding this down to create an elastic band inside the skirt. But for now, what I'm going to do is remove my pattern and I'm going to take my needles and I'm going to pin along here and along here. I'm just going to sew along the edges with a zigzag stitch where I pinned the side of the skirt. So I'm going to sew here on a zigzag stitch and sew here. And I don't know if I mentioned that the fabric that I am using is a stretch knit fabric. Alright you guys, so as you guys can see, I just finished sewing the skirt. So I sewed on a zigzag stitch this way. Now as you can see, I already prepared my hem. So I paired... The, I folded the bottom part of the skirt right here an inch up and I pinned it all the way around as well as the waistband part. This is the waistband. I folded it to how thick I want. I'm going to sew on a zigzag stitch this way but I'm going to leave an opening on the side on one of the, either of the sides of the hem area where I'm going to insert the elastic band and then I'll close that up later. So I already have this all set and ready to go. So now what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the actual tube top piece. So I took the other half of the fabric that was folded, the bottom half of the fabric that I had folded from the skirt, and I chose a t-shirt of my choice. Now this is a shirt I'm going to be using, it's just a regular t-shirt that I got from Charlotte Rose. What I'm going to do is fold it right here because this is where my cleavage would start, right here. Right about here, I'm going to fold the shirt in just like this. I'm also going to take the bottom half of the skirt and fold this up as well. So basically I'm just going to cut out a straight square. I'm going to cut out here, here, and here leaving an inch to a half inch um, seam allowance. I'm just going to pull this up so I'm not wasting all this extra fabric. But what I am going to do, I'm going to leave in a half of uh, two inches on the bottom and probably two inches on the top because we are going to add elastic band to the top and bottom of the shirt so that the 
so that the top will not slip down when we are wearing it. So I'm going to cut this out and pin it along the sides here. Now keep in mind, this tube top looks rather large, but it's going to be folded in on the top and folded in at the bottom to create the tube top effect. So when we put it on, it's going to stay snug. So what I'm getting ready to do is sew this on a zigzag stitch on both sides. All right, you guys. Now I wanted to show you guys how to do an elastic band on your clothes. So you're going to take some elastic. I have a pretty big roll of elastic. You can get it at Walmart if you don't have any. So what you're going to do is take it around your waist and measure your waist. Make sure it's pretty tight because we want it to stretch as we put it on. So I'm going to overlap it just a little bit like so. Maybe like two extra and a couple extra inches and I'm just going to snip off the extra so we're going to use this elastic right here to put in the waistband of our skirt so what I actually like to do is to take a safety pin but at the moment I don't have a safety pin so I like to just take a bobby pin that I have laying around and I like to put the bobby pin I like to poke a hole in the the elastic just like this now just to show you guys the skirt this is the skirt right here I left this is the waistband the top of the skirt as you guys can see I left a little bit of a hole so that I can shove or feed the elastic through the skirt right in here so what I like to do is take the safety pin or bobby pin and I like to feed it inside that hole and scrunch up the skirt like this we're feeding the bobby pin in the skirt. So we're just gonna scrunch it up, making sure that the elastic does not twist inside the skirt. So we're scrunching up the fabric and then we're pulling it. And as we're pulling it, we're feeding the elastic through the skirt. So I'm bunching it up, bunching it up, and then I'm gonna pull and feed the elastic through the skirt. So once again, I'm just bunching it, bunching it. Other around and pull. Bunch, 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 and pull. Bunch, bunch, bunch. And we're getting close to the other side. So then I'm gonna just feed this through all the way to the other side. I'm gonna pull it out. Then we're gonna shove the bobby pin we're gonna make sure we could get the hairpin or the bobby pin out. So we're gonna pull it out all the way to the other side. So then your skirt starts to scrunch like this. So now from this point, what you're going to do, you're gonna take the elastic band and connect the two ends. Make sure that they're flat. We're gonna overlay this and we're just going to do a straight stitch across here to make sure that this stays secure. So once you do that and you stitch this, when you pull the elastic skirt through, let me just do that part really quickly and then show you guys. So I have quickly sewn the two elastic bands. So now all you're gonna do is take your skirt and pull it out. Pull it out so that the elastic feeds through the skirt. And now all you're gonna do is do your zigzag stitch right here to close up the hole that we did. And your skirt is done. Now what I also went ahead and did is I hemmed the top. So I pinned it so I could hem the bottom and the top. I decided that I tried it on and I like to try on my pieces as I'm going. And I realized I don't need to add an elastic band. It's actually gonna stay snug to the body. So I'm just gonna zigzag stitch it all the way around and all the way around the top and we will be done and we're gonna try it on together.